is for sure. If you're going to be outside uh, for any outdoor activities, make sure you're drinking plenty of water. Keep yourself hydrated. Uh, find some shade. Look at the current lake levels in forecast. Keystone at four feet above normal. Sky took normal. Ulagod five feet above normal. Grand at normal. Fort Gibson normal. Hudson at a foot above normal. Tinkiller five feet above normal. Nifala at two feet above normal. These numbers have definitely dropped a lot in the past couple of weeks and with dry weather to expect it to continue through the weekend and through much of next week we expect these numbers to continue to drop as well. Your weekend forecast hot and humid only an isolated chance for a storm on Sunday. Looking at our rainfall chances on Sunday there's a slim chance for an isolated shower thunderstorm and we're talking about 20 percent or less not a widespread opportunity but an opportunity nonetheless, and we can take anything we get at this point in time. 500 millibar flow uh, gives us a good idea where our storm systems are traveling, and you can see big storm system up in Canada. But meanwhile, you see how everything kind of influxes north. It's because ridge of high pressure is control. We do have this weak little wave that's going to come through Sunday and bring that isolated thunderstorm chance Sunday, very early Monday morning. But then by Tuesday and Wednesday, that breaks down with just high pressure pretty much in control. And that means the temperatures are going to soar. We're going to see numerous days at 100 or above. What I'm optimistic for is that this high pressure begins to break down and center itself a little further southwest. What does that allow? Well, it actually changes our flow and might bring a front into the area, might bring an isolated shower storm by the end of next week, which will help shave off the high temperatures by a few degrees. And we're hopeful that actually comes to fruition. As the heat continues to build across the central United States, mid 90s in Tulsa, hundreds to our southwest, cooler air to the north of us in Bismarck at 79. See the trend not too friendly to us. Saturday and Sunday, mid 90s, we head towards the 4th of July near 100 degrees, 102 on Tuesday, 103 on Wednesday, 102 on Thursday, as the heat will be excessive and the humidity will be high as well. So mid 90s Saturday and Sunday heat index values between 100 and 105. So will be hot and humid this weekend. Just a slight chance for an isolated thunderstorm on Sunday. Outside right now, Wade's RV with our camera network, mostly fair skies, south winds at 13. Dew points increasing as moisture begins to move back in the area. Current temp is our high so far at the day for the day. We did start off this morning in the 60s again, so pleasant start. We're going to increase those morning lows tomorrow into the mid 70s. Warm start to your Friday morning. By afternoon, hot and sticky, mid 90s with more humidity expected for tomorrow. The weekend, slight chance for storms on Sunday. The 4th of July, hot 99. There's your 100s. 102 on Tuesday, 103 on Wednesday, 102 on Thursday. Might see that ridge break down some, and I'll take upper 90s compared to 100s by then next week with a chance for a few thunderstorms.